Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Rianne. I'm currently working on a mask for an up and coming exhibition and I thought it would be nice to record the making of the eyes as a fun little pattern. So you'll need three shades of green, two shades of red, some white, some black yarn and let's get started. Let's start with a magic ring. So magic ring and I'm going to be using this as my size guide um, but I'll narrate the stitches that I do as I go along, okay? So hopefully the focus won't play up too much. Okie dokie, I can't get my fingers. Right, here we go. So a magic ring, chain one, and I'm going to do six single crochets into my magic ring. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, look, I'm gonna redo that. So that's one, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six. Okay, um, I'm just gonna figure out this um, I'm going to zoom in so it stops the focus going funny. God, oh, cameras. Right, I'm bring my eye in. Okay, hopefully that's better. Okay, yeah. So, the next thing I'm going to do is... Um, so I'm following this one rather than doing the sort of diamondy shape one. So, I think... In the first single crochet of the magic ring, just push your hook into there or thereabouts and go straight into a single crochet. Single crochet. In the same, in the same, I know it's black yarn, it's difficult to see, but in the same uh, stitch, yarn over and let's do a half double crochet because I want to bring the iris up a little bit. And in the next stitch, I want you to do two double crochets. Should I do that? Is that better? I think so. Right. Yeah, two double crochets, I said. Okay. Two double crochets. I'm just going to pull the ring closed a bit. Okay. I think... Next, I'm going to do a half double crochet. So half double crochet in the next stitch, followed by a single in the same space. And I'm just going to test the size, which I like. I like the size of that. So in the next uh, stitch, just do a slip stitch. And then we can cut and finish, pull through. So cut it, pull through. Now I'm just gonna pop it around the back, like so. Okay, so that's my iris. It's kind of like an egg shape. There we go. Oh, it's black is awful. It'll get more colorful in a minute. So there we go. So that's roughly the right size. And this is what I do a lot anyway. If, if you can sketch, even if you're not that great, just sketch yourself an eye or print an eye um, on your, you know, from the computer and use that as your guide, use that as your, um, as your pattern, I suppose, okay? Um, it's basically how I taught myself. Okay, so next I'm going to do the eye colour, which I'm going to, I've chose a couple of reds. Um, I've got three shades of red, there they are, Oop, there we go. Sort of ranging from light to dark. So starting with the light, well, again, you can start with the dark. It really is entirely up to you. But I'll just put that there a minute. Um, so starting with the light, I am going to, let's have a look. So where this, that's where I slip stitched. So um, let's have a look. I think I'm not going to do this section straight away. I'm going to, I'm, I want to be starting it from that point there. All right. So yeah, to the left of the eye. So um, my slip stitch is here at the bottom. So 
basically stick your hook in roughly to the left of the iris, okay? And let's pull through your yarn. So I've opted for the lightest red. Chain one. In the same space, do a single crochet. Uh, yarn over and go for a double, no, sorry, a half double crochet. <laughs> uh, in the next uh, stitch, do a double crochet. And here's a, look, can you see there's a gap there, okay, where I've just gone from one stitch to the next. Do, a, when you sort of get things like that happening with your crochet portraits, pop another stitch in it, okay? And that will just sort of stop it pulling. And because you do that, if, you, if it pulls, then it's gonna to start to curl. Um, so yarn over, and I'm going to put another double crochet in the same space, okay? So that just, just sort of helps it come around. Uh, yarn over, half double crochet in the next, this is taking us now to underneath the iris. Another half double crochet in the same space. Single crochet in the next. Mm -hmm. So it's taking us round. Uh, single crochet in the next. Okay. Um, and I think let's do a slip stitch in the next stitch. That's just so that I can, because there's not much space this side of the eye to, in terms of the colour. So I'd like to mix a few colours of red just to, I don't know, make it look a bit more interesting. So pull through. Okay, right. So that's my part of the eye done so far. Now I'm going to add the medium colour red, my middle red. And I'm going to join it where I started last time, or, or roughly there. So grab your eye. I mean, you can pop it into the same space. I'm going into the black part there. So I'm just gonna add my yarn in there. Okay, so chain one, single, oh, I'm gonna go down a bit. Okay, so chain one, that brings me up the height of the last stitch, or the first stitch there, that row, all round. <laughs> um, so into the top of that single crochet. Okay, there we go. Um, let's just do another single. Okay, there we go. So that's my single side. I'm gonna just gauge it. Because even though I'm making this into a pattern for you, it's still actually my, my piece. <laughs> so I need it to be good. <laughs> Okay, uh, yarn over, let's do a half double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, there we go. Half double crochet into the next stitch. And then I'm going to half double crochet in the same space. And then in the next stitch, I just wanna do a single and then slip stitch in the next to finish it off because I wanna change the color again. Um, there we go. Uh, there we are. Right. So, um, I'm going to use my dark red. Where is it end? Where's the end? Oh, I do make a mess of my yarn. Oh dear. Oh, there it is. Got it. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so I've got my dark red. Now I am going to, I'm gonna add it. So here's my eye. I'm gonna add it about here and then just work my way right the way across to about there. So uh, I'm turning the eye upside down. I'm adding it into that single crochet um, of the last round. So. Pulling it through my colour. Um, Okie dokie. Uh, so I'm just going to single crochet and where I slip stitched, I'm just going to do a single in there and single again in the next. 
single again in the next single in the next stitch I'm going to do another single in that stitch because I can feel the work getting a bit tight so single in there and then where I slip stitched I'm just going to go into the black okay the black stitch single in there um, then another single crochet across the top another in the next one that's two into the black um, now as I'm coming to the red where we started I think it's best that I go into the black like that with a single and then I'll be able to slip stitch but you can kind of see there that there's like a weird stitchy thing I'm gonna skip that bit and just go straight into that okay how does that look so that's my iris so far my eye on iris let's have a look uh, it doesn't have to be perfect that's, uh, I'm not going for perfection <laughs> okay pull it through right now I'm going to add some of the white so I'm happy with that I'll add little flecks of white um, as we go uh, well as it's finished and that just oh that makes the eyes pop that does but I'm going to use the white just to do the white of the eye so grab your white yarn and I'm going to do to the the right this right section here so my eye hasn't got any white underneath where the eye color is okay so I'm going to do a section of white there and then I'm going to do a section of white here but we're going to do the right hand side so Okay, so grab your iris, you'll have to eyeball it yourself as well because um, it's difficult with freeform to be exact. You may have needed to put a few more stitches in if your stitches are tighter than mine, do you see what I mean? So yeah, just sort of, I'm waffling, right, okay, I'll just carry on. So I want to join the whites uh, about here, okay? So... My stomach's rumbling now, I'm starving. Right, oh, I've lost it. Okay, here we go. Yeah, sorry. So I'm gonna start, join my white about here. So I'm gonna pop my hook in like that. And join my white. Here we go. So uh, I'm gonna start with a single crochet and yarn over no did i do a single no i didn't i did a sorry you probably saw that i did not do that i did a um one chain <laughs> a chain is that what it's called? do you know what i'm blanking okay single one chain <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying one chain chain one that's it oh my goodness okay oh, yarn over and go straight into a half double crochet in the next uh space okay so this is going to be my, oh, somebody told me it's called a picots. I don't know if, it, I don't know if you pronounce it like that. I think it's picots, P-I-C-O-T. So I do it like chain one, and then I'm going to see those two, I don't know, just grab two sections of the both stitches like that, and then slip stitch. And that gets the, a good um, point to the, uh, yeah, to the inner part of the eye. Now, where I um, did that first half, half double crochet, I'm going to add a single in the same space. Okay, there we go. And I think I'll do another one in there so that I can hold, keep that in position. Um, there we go, so it sort of stays there. And then I'm going to do a single in the next and slip stitch up there. I really wish I'd done my nails before I started recording this video. But I'm too busy, guys, too busy to be pampering myself like that. <laughs> I might do it in my lunch hour. Okay, um, there we go. So that's my, the white of the eye, like that. I'll pop that there in a second. Okay, 
so let's grab the white and then continue with the left hand side. So here we go. I've got my white. All right then. So my guide, let me see. Mm, yeah. So where we joined, yeah, see where the two colours uh, come together there. That's roughly where you can join your white. So there we go. Single crochet. No, I keep saying single crochet and I mean chain one. Oh my goodness. Chain one, yarn over and do a half double in the next. Okay, half double crochet. In the next, let's do a double. Mm -hmm. That's a double. And I'm going to do another double in the same space. Like that. Okay. I think I'll do another, well, I'll do a double crochet in the next. Right. Like that. And I want a point similar to this by there. So let's do the picket. Um, I'll have to double check the pronunciation of that word. The picket. <laughs> so I've chained one. And again, I'm going to pick up two, slide my hook. It's kind of like that. I really don't know how to explain that, but that's what I'm doing. And slip stitch. Sometimes it's quite fiddly. Now I'm going to crochet, because I did a, a bigger stitch, I'm going to crochet down the, the stem, is it, of that double crochet, that last double crochet. So single crochet, into the stem like so and another one like just make space for the for the stitches to go in um and then let me just see you see how that's sort of coming together there i know there's a sort of something yeah well i can sort of go in like that and do a single yeah and then in the same space you could have just done, I think you could have, we could have got away with just doing a, um, a slip stitch there, but that's fine. I like that. So that, and then I'm slip stitching and cutting and pulling through. So, oops, oh, that's fine. Pulled through, there we go. That's the eye starting to come together. Quite like it. Right, so, I'm gonna do a couple, another row on, yeah, on the white there, just to bring it out a bit more. So I like that though. So let's do this. And, and I know it might sound, um, yeah. I'm gonna actually start into that red here. All right, by there. Let's get that white. Okay, um, I don't know if I chain one or not. I'm not going to chain one, I'm just going to leave it there and go straight into the side of that white. That will just sort of pull it down flat. Um, so I'm going to do a single crochet. Oops, I, I split the yarn there. There you go, right, single crochet. Um, I could see, yeah, see that little stitch? It's the next sort of stitch. There, another single crochet. Right, in the next space or next stitch, do another single. I'm gonna probably get away with doing another single in that same space there. So two in the one stitch. Okay, and then let's do a half double in the next stitch, okay. Half double in the next. And as we get to that picket stitch there, I'm just gonna do another half double and I'm gonna stick it, uh, you do your best, but I'm just going to, yeah, see that it's like a little lump. I'm just gonna stick it in any way I can. Eey, that's why I use these small hooks because they're quite sharp and they can just poke in. Uh, yeah, finish that stitch. Right, so we're gonna do another picket here. So that's the chain one. And then slip your hook through and do a slip stitch. Whoop, there we go. And then I'm going to um, 
sort of crochet down the side here and sort of finish it about by there. Just sort of, can you see that gap is a bit dipped? We just want to fill that and kind of straighten it up to about there, I think. So single crochet to fill that gap. So single there, I could do another one there. And maybe sometimes if you skip a stitch and go into the next, that will pull it and keep it flat. Yeah, yeah, that worked quite nice. So cut that off. There we go. Yep, there we are. So that's roughly the shape that I was looking for. Um, and now I can add a nice black um, border to frame the eye. So I've got a knot in my yarn by there, look. I'm gonna cut that off. Can I make it? Oh no, no, I can. Oh no, I've got plenty that I can do, use for a minute. Okay. Um, yep, so let's just start um, right to the right of the eye, okay? So we're in that picket, stick your hook. It's kind of just like that. Grab your black and pull through. Uh, da, da, da. Right, so chain one, and then let's just go straight into doing single crochet all the way around. So, let's, some of the stitches might be a bit strange, but stick it in anyway. <laughs> single crochet, single crochet. And if you feel like your work is getting tight and not, um, yeah, especially when you're doing things like this, bordering, um, yeah, putting just like a, a border around whatever you've done. You know, you, that's the point where you've really got to add a couple more stitches if you feel that it's doing, like, I can't explain it, but if it starts to sort of pull. Okay, here's a good way of doing it. So I still feel like it's okay at the minute, so I'm gonna keep on going. And then when I get to a point where I'm worried that it's gonna pull it all a bit too tight. Mm. Let's see. It still feels all right. <laughs> Typical. Um, keep going. Another way um, of making sure your work will lie flat is just to pull it, lay it flat, you know? Still laying quite nice. Um, but as I'm going around this, I know it's not quite a corner, but as I'm starting to turn, that's usually a good point to stick another stitch in the same space. Okay, so keep on going. I did two in that last one then. So I'm just single crocheting all the way down. Where I got to that picket thing, I'm just gonna pop my hook in like that. Now, this is a good uh, yeah corner. I would do another one in there like that just so it brings it round, nice, about pulling it. And my stitches are a bit weird here, so I'm just, I'm just sticking the hook in wherever I can get it in. So I'm single crochet all the way underneath. And then again, whoops. Okay. Um, oh, you can sort of see, look, there's not much to work with there. Um, but I'm going to stick it in like this, if I can. Eat. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there we go. And I can just pull that white, it's pulled it. Okay, uh, yep, yeah, carry on. Um, actually, I'm doing like a, I don't know what yours are looking like, hang on. But I'm gonna put mine in that first one, just in the back, the back loop. Okay, it still feels fine but I'm not gonna do it in the back loop all the way. It was just that first stitch looked a bit weird. Keep going. And remember, if yours is tight, just do a two in the one. All right, here we go. Okay, let's lay it flat, make sure. Yeah. Um, so as I'm coming up the side of those weird stitches, I'm just literally yeah, sticking it in to the stem of those stitches or whatever. Yeah. 
they were. And then where, where the picket is, where I started off this black, single crochet in it. Now, you'll see on my picture here, I've got like a bit of a point. I mean, this is not life drawing. I don't know if you noticed that, but it's not. <laughs> so I'm gonna just do like a little peek or try um, just to kind of mimic it in crochet. So to do that, I think I'll just do, I don't know, two chains, right? Um, slip stitch into the second chain from the hook. Okay, uh, in the, uh, where you did your single crochet for that black, in the pickets, just do a single. And then I'm going to just slip stitch into one of the, yeah, single crochet black stitches. There we go. Okay, so, voila. Da -da -da. Okay, pull it through. And now it's really starting to take shape. Oops, there you go. So let's add um, a little flash of white because that would just make it look, I always like doing that quite early on. Unless I need it to be exactly the same or whatever I'm to the other eye, but I, I normally do it straight away because it makes me feel better. I'm like, yeah, now it looks real. Ish. <laughs> so I'm just gonna stick, oh, you can use, if you've got enough, you can use, um, yeah, I might use uh, some of the, the string from behind. So I'm gonna pull in a bit of the white, in, I've done it into the center of where the magic ring is. I've also pulled up some fluff as well, which I don't want, but never mind. Okay, and when you do use behinds, okay, just be mindful not to like pull it really tight and then create like curls, you know, just keep it quite loose. Where is it? There it is, right. So I'm just going to do um, a nice stitch, surface stitch, like this. And there we go, simple as that, but it makes all the difference. And pull it back through. And just be mindful that you haven't done that too tight behind, okay? There we go. There we are. So that's the eye, doesn't that? Oh, I just love it, see? Ooh. Okay, um, right. I'll just measure it. I mean, it's not, I'm not being too harsh on myself. It doesn't have to be exact. Okay. So I'm gonna do a little bit of an eyelid, all right? And, oh, it's gonna, oh, we're getting into the greens, aren't we? I nearly forgot. Right, um, I think I'll start with a, hmm, let me think. So I've got a couple of shades of green. Now you can just choose two shades of green. It really is, up to you. I've got, I don't know, if my greens match, but like as in complement each other, they probably, I don't know. Um, hmm, I think I might stick to, see I should have planned this beforehand, but I am doing this on a whim. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna, yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with just three shades of green, because I don't want to be too crazy. Um, starting with, I'm going to do um, the brightest green. So I've got this like a luminous um, green yarn. Is it, just, you know, electric? I don't know, that colour. Um, so I'm going to do the first part of the lid in a flash of bright green. Okay, so if you grab your eye, I'm just going to yeah, that's where, okay, so here's the eye. Um, I'm going to add it. So where your red is here, where the, the right of the eye color is there, just sort of put, put your hook in like that, just to give you an idea of where I'm adding mine. And you can kind of do the same, or roughly thereabouts. Then pull through your green color, your light green, dark green, you could do any color, I suppose. Chain one. Oh. There's a lorry outside the shop, so it's gonna make a real racket now. Okay, um, yeah, so chain one. Uh, single crochet in the next. Half double crochet in the next. Another half double crochet in the same space. Uh, half double crochet in the next. Half double crochet in the next one. 
and then back down to single whoops <laughs> back down to single crochets oh my goodness me that's loud right hang on single crochet yet yeah, in the next let's have a look mm -hmm. and then slip stitch in the next in the next stitch just starting to make that little bump right cut that pull through there we are okay I'm going to do a um, so my darkest green I'm gonna go over it just do a couple of stitches just almost like border it and then I'll do a black um, line so where we joined the light green let's add your darker shade there we go chain one uh, single crochet into the first single crochet you did on the last uh, row single crochet in the next mm, single in the next as well uh, I want to do I think I'm going to do a half double in the next um, and then go sh in the same space do a single whoops do a single crochet uh, single in the next single again in the next and then where you did your slip stitch do the same again slip stitch there we go that's what I'm doing cut pull through okay and let's add some black so I'm gonna add um, I'm gonna start. Um, no, what do I want to do? Actually, um, get in your darkest yarn, your darkest green. I'm going to, yeah, put it by there. I'm gonna add. I'm gonna just fill that area here. Okay. Um, and I think that the dark green would look good if I can get the end. Got it. So let's pull it through. Mm -mm, oops, there we go. Okie dokie. Uh, chain one. In the next space or stitch, single. Uh, single in the next. Half double crochet in the next. Half double crochet again in the next space. Oops, there we go. Half double crochet in the next. Um, I do another half double crochet in that same space. Yeah, and then into that single, into the dark uh, stitches here. Let's do another single. Ooh, hang on. Ah, try again. Single. And then another single. And I'm going to finish another single. I'm going to slip stitch, I think, at the top of where I'm trying to make it sort of rise up. It's like a little mini mountain. There. That's what I want it like. Like that. So. Mm -hmm. Pull it through. Okay. Now, um, now, at this point, I'm going to add like a little black border to there. Right the way around. Okay. Uh, oh no, I'm not. Sorry. See, well, it is freeform. Just going with my gut at the minute. Actually, I'm going to do so. My medium color, uh, my medium color green. So right, this is my third color. Right, I'm going to just sort of do a couple of stitches down to about here. So, oh yeah, sorry, look, I didn't show you where I was adding it. So there's my eye. Um, I want to add it. So let's have a look. See where the the left of the eye is there? Just pop your hook up and kind of roughly, yeah, that's where mine is. So if you want to add yours in the same space, that would be great. Oops. There we go. Okay, so chain one, uh, single crochet in the next. Uh, half double crochet in the next actually just to show you what I did then 
Um, so I'm going into a half double crochet, but that's like my slip stitch. So I'm going into the black. That's why it might look funny. There we go. Half double crochet. And you can see there now, see, it's like, it needs another stitch in the same space because it feels it's very up here and I need to be facing more that way. My explanations are probably really bad, but I'm more of a visual person. <laughs> there you go. Um, okay, so then let's just do, what do I want to do? Mm, so that was a half double crochet, two half double crochets in that same space. And I think I'll do a double. Let's do a double in the next double crochet. Oh yeah, and again double crochet in the next, half double crochet in the next space, and I pulled my yarn, hang on, half double crochet, there you go, and straight into a single crochet, and single crochet again, finish with a slip stitch at the end of the eye. There we go. So that's it so far. There we go. Right, let's finish that, pull through. Now just to finish off this video, um, and I will be doing more, okay, to, um, to finish it. Uh, let's just do a nice black uh, border from there right the way to this side. And it will be mostly single crochet, well it will be all single crochets if I can get, oh, I'm starting in the end of the black, finding my my black, here we go, ba -ba -bum. pull through, uh, start with a chain one and then go straight into your green. That was a bit weird because I think it's like a, I don't know what that is, so I'm going to ignore that and go into the next with a single. Okay, so single crochet all the way around the top of the I. I suppose as well, if you used more, I don't know, natural skin colours, natural eye colours as well, it might look, um, it'll be, yeah, it, you could use the eye for something else and you can make it look more natural, I don't know. Even though I've chosen bonkers colours, <laughs> well that sounds weird, um, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's still the basic, I'd still do this even if I was doing a more realistic portrait. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perhaps if I was doing a more realistic portrait, I'd be a bit more careful with the image that I'm copying from, you know? Keep on going. And remember, I know I keep saying the same thing, but if it, you feel like it needs it, do two... Um, stitches in the same space to stop it from curling. I'm doing another one there and finish. I'm finishing with a single and a slip stitch by there. Yeah, and that's still lying fairly flat, so I'm quite happy with that. So there we go. Cut that. There we go. Pull it through. And that is, it is still quite a basic eye, but that's, again, this is, I'm trying to kill two birds with one stone. I want to add content to my uh, YouTube channel, um, but I'm really busy with so many projects at the moment. And sometimes I just don't have it in me to narrate as I create because, I don't know. Yeah, because it's a lot. <laughs> but this one, it's not, it, it should be quite easy going. Um, so there we go. So that's the eye. Um, I will uh, record myself continuing on um, and share it here so we can do it together. And yeah, I think it's going to be a nice fun exercise. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video.